are referred to as the El Cheapo. You can get it at all of your uh, trade stores. Um, and uh, basically it's like a plastic mesh that sits in front of the gutters, on top of the gutters. And uh, is basically uh, installed, really easy to install and most of all nice and cheap. But definitely these really cheap ones are no good except for one that I'm going to show you shortly. Uh, this one here is the black one, really thin, you've probably used it before yourself. Um, this is really absolute rubbish. Like this is not going to even keep, even like light leaves, even when light, you see it's really flimsy. Uh, any, like maybe even if one leaf lands on it, it's going to be squashed into the gutter, come out of shape, bent out of shape. And you'll basically, you've probably seen these before and you see it just lying in your gutters like this. Uh, this, this stuff is uh, rubbish. If you are going to go cheap, I recommend, and, and plastic and uh, DIY type stuff, I recommend to go for the more, the sturdier one of the plastics, whichever the sturdiest one you can find, um, that have some kind of UV coating on it as well to protect against disintegration from the sun. These ones aren't really that good either, but they're a lot better than the flimsy black ones, okay? Uh, so these ones are a bit more sturdy, so they can hold a bit more rubbish uh, on them. Um, but they have a, another flaw with, with these ones, is uh, that they get squashed quite easily, unfortunately, and can get pecked out by birds. Um, unless you silicon, like a blob of silicon for every meter if you install these. So, uh, if you wanted to keep your budgets low, you can install these. I do myself as well. If somebody wants to, a budget co conscious uh, customer would want to just try out some gutter guards, see how they go, recommend these guys. Um, so, uh, these ones, it's like I charge $55 per 8 meters of it installed. We put a blob of silicon for every meter just to make sure the bergs don't pick it out and it also reduces it from getting squashed but the downside to these guys is that uh, when they get squashed the, the base of the rubbish lands on top of them they get squashed a little bit and then it gets pushed underneath the where the roof tile is and then it's just like sitting under there so when you look at it you think oh there's nothing in the gutter but if you were to remove it you'd see all the rubbish uh, that has been pushed in behind it um, uh, so unfortunately uh, this is not the best solution. It is a solution but it's not the best one you can get. Okay. So your other options besides a gutter screen which I install is uh, one of these uh, like sturdy strong uh, uh, color bond uh, reinforced uh, metal guards. These ones are nice and strong, that's what I like about these guys. Really, the, the rubbish is not going to squash up these guys. It's really, really sturdy. Um, but they do have a couple of flaws. This one, not such major flaws, uh, but these ones are difficult to clean. Uh, because obviously, as you'll see all over my website, you, you get these guards, unfortunately nothing. There's no solution to never having to clean your gutters ever again. Unfortunately, if anyone tells you that, it is uh, totally untrue. Uh, if you think I've got a biased opinion because I run a gutter cleaning service, so be it. Um, but yeah, if you want to trust these guys that when they install them, say you'll never have to clean your gutters again, unfortunately that is a false statement. So let's, let's take a look at this guy. So we can see the, the groove. So the way it gets installed is uh, this edge is screwed into the edge of the guttering, so it sits on top of the lip of the gutter and it's screwed into the, the edge of it um, and then this guy is basically dips into the gutter and is sitting like uh, just below the gutter and, and a little bit above, uh, like near to the roof. What I don't like about these is there's actually, when it's installed, there's a slight angle, very slight back towards the roof so when the rubbish lands on top it, it, it gets pushed across to this side like back towards so we just got a picture that the roof is on this side and it lands into this gully this is the really the, the detriment of this type of screen 
not the end of the world if you've got this screen or uh, have uh, think you're getting installed or want to do it yourself. Go, by all means, do it. Like this, this, this is a pretty good guard. Um, but it's just what happens is it kind of the rubbish lands on top and it gets pushed into this gully. collects here and forms a soil over time and that soil gets into the guttering and then you have some moss blooming underneath. So that's pretty much the only flaw with this guy uh, is that um, you, you're going to get this, the rubbish gets stuck in this groove. Um, other downside obviously it's expensive to install, it's a really good product, um, really strong. Um, but yeah, just hiding this rubbish here and if you have a problem underneath as well like you have to then unscrew everything and, and reinstall it's a bit fiddly to fix up one of these if you get some problems with it but still a good product um, but expensive and finally I'm going to show you another one that's available at all hardware stores this one I like to call the cheese grater um, so um, also, you know, these guys, they come up with all these ideas. Obviously, people or roofers and people are recommending, say you've got like a pine tree or something with very thin needles that would easily get through something like, like this, like the holes are maybe too big and, the, and the, the, the needles can get through. Then you're probably getting guys that are going, hey, get this thing, this is great. Like, it's got very fine, like, look, you probably can't see my ugly face. Um, so it's got very fine holes on it. Um, so that's going to stop the needles coming through, but the major downside to this guy is it's actually going to stop the water from actually getting into your gutters. Um, so if we just use a bit of logic, uh, the smaller the hole, the the more obstruction there is for water to actually land into the gutter and get taken away from your properties, property because that is why you have a gutter in the first place, right? You want the water to flow away from your property. Basically the reason why you have guttering in the first place is you want it to catch all the water when it rains Put it down the downpipe into the storm water and away from your property. You do not want water hanging around. Causes all kinds of problems, mold, structural damage, uh, rotting away of timber beams, blah blah blah. The list goes on and on and on and on. Um, now what this guy is going to do for you, it's going to solve your problem of needles coming into the into the guttering. Great. Okay, so that's going to sort that out. But this is going to also prevent the water from uh, getting inside of your guttering. So when you get those heavy rains, you really want your gutters to be functioning 100% and catching all of that water and distributing it away from your property or into your water tank. Um, so unfortunately this guy is not going to be the right solution. If you have a pine tree, unfortunately there's nothing really anybody can help with that uh, pine needles. I would recommend to have no gutter screen at all and just have to do manual cleaning. Unfortunately, that's just the downside to having the pine needles. Nobody has developed, and I don't think anyone will develop something that will keep the pine needles out of your uh, gutters. The only thing is to cut the tree away. Uh, otherwise, you just have to do manual cleaning. This is just my opinion. You just take it how you want to. Um, so uh, you'll see that I'm going to do a water test on this guy just to show you why. Uh, this is not the right answer for uh, screen, uh, screening up your gutters. Now, there are also two other types of uh, gutter screens or gutter guards that I have not shown you today. The first one I'm not showing you, I call it the Egyptian Pyramid one. It's called Easy Flow or Down Flow, Maxi Flow or something guttering. It's the one uh, that you're going to show in a little short video clip. It has like these little bulbs that look like a pyramid, Egyptian Pyramid. That's why I call it the Egyptian Pyramid. These little bulbs, so they, they, 
but basically like it's an extreme thing like they redo all your gut ring and they put this massive big shell around your gutters and then they have like uh, a long sheet of color bond metal and they cut holes in it and they put these like Egyptian pyramids into the holes so then they say that the water then gets flows towards the holes and the Egyptian pyramids uh, work as like some kind of filter to stop uh, the water from uh, to top, stop the rubbish from getting into the gutters but uh, these Egyptian pyramid bulb things they get blocked up uh, quite easily in my opinion I, I and I see um, that they do really restrict the flow of water into the gutters because that's really important is you don't want to restrict the flow of water into the guttering because if you're going to get these kind of things you might as well just not have a gutter there uh, because if you do it's going to restrict the flow of water and the water is going to pass over the top and either to the side of your property or back into the roof and finally the last one I want to talk about is a it's called like a gutter hedgehog or uh, whiskers, gutter whiskers. They sit on, uh, they basically just place them inside of the gutters. It's like a big wire brush that goes through. Um, that's, that's quite cool. That's like it's, uh, it's about 12, they sell it at uh, hardware stores for about $12 per meter. Um, uh, I like them from a cleaning point of view because it's really easy. You just pick them up, you take them out, shake them off, and put them back in again. They're nice and easy to install and easier to take out, clean, put back in again. But the downside to them as well is they fill up a lot of the surface area of the, the guttering. So you're going to lose a lot of surface area inside. Um, so then again it comes to that water flow. Uh, it's going to restrict the flow of water in those heavy storms that come in. You know the storms. We experienced it this year. This is 2015. It is a solution. Uh, I wouldn't feel bad if someone having it. Um, just uh, we've got to just allow the water to flow into our gutters and away f uh, from our property or into our water tanks. We don't want to restrict that water flow to either waste water if we're trying to catch it for the water tank, and also for you know damage to our property if it's spilling over the edge either back into the house or out onto the foundations. I also just want to quickly touch on uh, these products. Uh, this basically is a uh, what's put on top of where the downpipe is, they, uh, they advertise to put these on top of the downpipes to stop them from getting blocked up. Uh, this, unfortunately, you'd think, wow, that is the solution to stop blocking the downpipes. It is a solution to stop the downpipes from being blocked. But what it does is it just creates the blockage right at the top because all the, the rubbish comes through the gutter and it, it ends up next to this filter and then the rubbish gets stuck in around the filter and it then prevents the flow of water bang down the downpipe. Um, so this is not the right solution and also because if you put it in as well and it rains and there's rubbish stopping the water from going down the downpipe it means water is going to linger around so because it has to rise up a bit of even this slight bit up to get down the downpipe it's going to linger around your gutters and unfortunately speed up the rust in your guttering so then your gutters will deteriorate quicker if you install something like this um, so you think it'd be a simple solution uh, somebody still has a nature's an amazing thing like uh, uh, the rubbish from the trees is going to get into your gutters no matter what unless you put up the cheese grater uh, the one that I showed you earlier and you put that cheese grater one on that's going to stop the rubbish from coming in, but it's also going to stop the water from coming into your gutters. So.